Hey guys, welcome back to Subnautica. In the last episode, we uh, crash landed on this aquatic planet and we met a very rude fish that kinda ran into me and I was not a fan of that. I think it was called Crash Fish. So today, I'm gonna try to find one of the ingredients we really need, which is silicone rubber. And to do, um, to, to make that, we need creep vine seed cluster. I got a tip that, um, those things are actually in another biome. So we're gonna try to find that. Let's dive on in. Also, you can actually harvest those um, gas thingies. So that's probably good. Now, peepers we can make into food. But I also want to keep a lookout for the other fish. I think it's this one. Is it this one? That can make... Uh... Oh, actually that was not it. But I want to check it out. A boomerang. So the one I wanted to check out was uh, the one we need for water. A ladder fish. Is that the one? Are you a bladder fish, sir? Let's uh, double check that. Yeah, that looks like one of those, right? Almost. So the biome we are looking for. Actually, it might be this right here. I don't think I can collect that. That's too big. What is that thing? I want to get some more O2 here first before we head down. What is this? Hello? A floater? What is that? Compose the multiple organisms in symbiosis. I mean, I guess I'll ke I can keep it for now. But what we want to be looking out for is down here. The creepvine cluster. Oh, look at that! I think that's metal! We definitely need more metal. Great. Now still... Oh! Sea glide fragment? How do I get that? I want to pick it up! I need some O2 before we head into that cave there. That might be where the creep vine is located. I definitely want to upgrade our O2 capacity as well. But for now, the goal is the rubber. I wonder what I could have used that boomerang for. Could I use that as a weapon? It might be a crash fish thingy. Let's see here. This should be the biome we are looking for. But it's probably gonna come with its own sort of predators. Let's break this. Might be some goodies. Yeah, that thing doesn't look very friendly. This might be what we need! Oh. Creepvine. I'd like some creepvine, please. How do I get that without the Life tool? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh Wait, I want that. Red. Give me that. Did he just throw that at me? I don't think he likes me very much. We should probably retreat. But how do I harvest those without the survival knife? Because we need the rubber to make the survival knife, so there's got to be a way. That doesn't sound very pleasant. There must be a way to harvest those. Maybe there's like fragments that have gone... Ooh, jeez, that looks terrifying. There's a lot of them. There might be like fragments that have gone down here. Inventory full. I would like to drop you. Probably don't need all those. Probably need the metal more. The cooked peeper might be useful though. Creeper vines or creep vines. Thirty seconds. Yes, I'm aware. Thank you very much. I'm also aware that metal salvage is nice. Uh gimme, give gimme give no! That's not what I wanted! And I'm under attack. That was another creep fish, I think. Come on, get up there. I'm running and swimming. Oh, oh, this might be bad. Come on, come on. Oh, things are going dark! Oh! 
That was a close one! Come on, stay at the surface. Stay at the surface. I think we're gonna have to go back to uh, unload our things. Now, can I just drop things here? We do have this storage compartment, but that's almost full already. I'm just gonna get rid of all these mushrooms. They're not that useful, I think. I wanna keep this egg we got last time. And the floater. Ah, the metal salvage take up a lot of room. That's why I got so full already. Let's melt those down into titanium. That's a useful metal to have. So each of those is worth four titaniums. That's a good haul. Wait, could I do something new there? Titanium ingots. Neat. Wait, what? Is each salvage like multiple uses? Let's see here. Equipment. A pipe. No, a floating air pump. That could be really good. That way I can like have um, checkpoints, sort of. And um, pipe oxygen down to the floor of the sea. That's probably real good. See, we need rubber for all these things. Survival knife, silicone rubber. Silicone rubber. All of the rubbers. A waterproof? Ooh. That could be good as well. Ah, so I could have eaten the boomerang. But at least I got a new recipe out of it. So that's great. Now, let's go back to the container here. Ooh, that's a lot of titanium. I'm just gonna drop a ton of these down into the sea. I hope we can, like, upgrade the storage. Because this might not cut it for long. There we go! And I'm just gonna go up here. And we're just gonna drop these things. Yes. Go down into the water. I wonder how long they'll stay. If they will at all. Hmm. Alright, let's go down again. Now, the kelp forest was this way, I think. I probably should have noted that down somewhere. Also, I like the colors now that it's nighttime. Oh, bladderfish! We got 75 right now. Once we have the materials, we can probably upgrade our. Standard O2 tag to something a lot bigger. Now where do I harvest you? Creep vine. Come on. Oh, there was something there. Creep vine cluster. I want to grab as much of this as I can. Inventory full. Oh, they're big ones. Hmm, can I... Eat these raw. I'm gonna eat you raw. Probably shouldn't have eaten the the water fish, but fine. Yep, yeah, that's fine. And hopefully I can pick up another one or two of those when we get there. I'm gonna get rid of a quart or two. So we can probably get some of those uh, bladder fish. Aha! Here we go. An acid mushroom. Oh, did I drop that here? Or did it go down the hatch? I think it did. First off, let's make ourselves some water because we're kinda very thirsty right now. That's fine. And let's drink that right off the bat. Consume. Vital signs stabilizing. I would hope so. Then we want to make rubber. Silicon rubber. As much of that as we can. That seems like a very useful item to have. All the things we want is gonna need it. How many can we make? 
A lot, it seemed. And do I need a titanium ingot? I'm not sure I do. Right. So, we have the O2 tank. The high capacity ones needs glass and the standard one. I could upgrade that with the glass and titanium I have and the silver ore. Let's actually do that. Titanium bar. More O2. Wait, what? Oh, I need more titanium now. But I'll smelt the glass as well. So the uh, metal thingy seems to be like scattered on the sea floor. So that seems like a good way to, um, or a good thing to look out for. We could do the flippers as well. Mm, nah, I think we're gonna save it for now until I have the survival knife. That's gonna be our focus. All right, do I have any room? I do have a lot of room now, actually. Wait, did I? Oh, I have some titanium. Good. Let's just take all of that so we can craft things. Then I want... Survival knife. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Repair tool? We might need that for a module. And can I make the fence? I can. That's awesome. The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. Fire For extinguisher. Session, the Wait, can I not use the standard O? Didn't I have a standard O2 tank on me right now? What if I do that? Can I use that for crafting now? I can. That's gonna be very helpful. So the last one had 75 capacity. Now we have 135. That's pretty sweet. I think we're done with the basic crafting now. I'm gonna need to make uh, or get more bladder fish, but I'm probably gonna do that off camera. Let's um, try to repair things. What do we want to repair first? Not the radio, probably. Main power. What's this thing then? Let's get this thing. Use repair tool. I'm 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 trying to use the repair tool. There we go. Things are repairing. Light pod secondary systems online. Running full environment diagnostic and outputting results to data bank. That's nice. Let's view this data. Wait, that's... <laughs> that's a lot of data. Or is it? It's bytes. That's not a lot of data at all. Or unless it's billion. Environmental scan. May support Leviathan class predators. Jeez. Let's uh, repair you as well. I can't. Oh, you got repaired. But I probably need to keep these operational. Oh, they're powering up now. Ah, so it's probably daytime now. Cool. Let's repair the radio though. Wait, that's a lot of time! But I should be looking for other life pods. See if there's any more uh, survivors. Probably a good idea. Now that we have the survival tool, I think we can like harvest some uh, new uh, materials down in the water. Let's try it. Like, can I use it for these? Or is it only a weapon? Hmm. We're gonna do some bladder fishing though. And boomerang could be good as well. Hey, boomerang! Come back to me. 
Ladder fishies. That's another boomerang. Isn't it? Yeah. There's a bladder fish. More of those, please. I wonder if I can hunt this guy. Or that guy. Oh, that's a new fish. New creature discovered. Where'd it go? Where'd you go? Oh, there it is. And we got some metal here as well. Nice. You. Come here. I'm gonna be real nice to you. Come here. Don't run away. Dang, he's fast. He knew what's best for him. Now, maybe let's try Warning. cutting this thing. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drag core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. I wonder if I can do anything with this. I mean, I did hear that you can, like, harvest this. There was something there! Something was there! But I couldn't get it. I wasn't fast enough. And I, I'm very concerned about that Aurora thingy. That's probably gonna hurt a lot. Now, am I safe where I am right now? Or is it... I feel like I'm kinda too close. Can I move my module somehow? Or is that like supposed to happen? Oh, more metal. Give me that metal. Inventory full. What can I use writhing weed for? You can go. Let's just cook these up instead. Because I need the water and I could use the food. Uh, fabricator, food, water. Give me the water. And we'll cook up some of this. Ooh, that looks odd. Yes. Thanks for the pep talk, computer. Ah, we're in good shape now. I probably need to heal up as well. So is this, like, regenerating over time? It seems so. Yes. Good. I think we're doing all right now. But next up, we're gonna try to um, get more um, of these upgrades going and try to get to other biomes, see what's up there. Let me know if you got any tips for me in the comments below. And as always, I'd appreciate it if you like and share the video to get the views up. Because views make the world go around. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.